Electricity is a form of energy that you can turn on and off with the flick of a switch. Lots of things we use every day need electricity to make them work. Which objects in this picture require electricity? Here is a basic electrical circuit drawing. The battery is the source making electricity. Wires conduct electricity from the battery to the light bulb. Look carefully at the switch. It is open. When a switch is open, electricity cannot flow all the way back to the battery. Therefore, it is an open circuit. If the switch is closed, it becomes a closed circuit and, uh, and electricity can flow all the way around the circuit. Electricity is a form of energy that can be changed into heat, like for your toaster. It can be changed into light energy, like for your light bulbs. It can be changed into sound energy, like for your radios. Electricity can also be used to turn motors, like for dishwashers and vacuum cleaners. This metal spoon is a conductor of heat. Conductors are objects that let heat pass through. When you place the metal spoon into a hot drink, the heat will transfer through the metal. Have you ever felt something metal like this playground on a hot summer day? It is hot to your touch. That is the heat from the sun transferring through the metal. This pan has a copper bottom. Copper is a good conductor of heat. When the pan is placed on the stove, the heat transfers through the pan and heats up whatever is inside. Did you know that water is a great conductor for electricity? The human body is made up of 70% water. That means that electricity can easily travel through your body. That is why you should never touch an electrical machine or switch with wet hands. Water can conduct electricity into your body and give you an electrical shock. You should never put anything electrical in water. You will receive an electrical shock that can cause death. Insulators are things that do not let heat or electricity pass through. Clothes are good insulators. They keep your body heat inside and the cold weather outside. Wooden spoons are good insulators. Heat from this pot of soup is not transferring through the wooden spoon. The wooden spoon remains cool so you can hold on to it while you stir. What do you think the spoon would feel like if it was made of metal? Styrofoam cups are good insulators. They keep drinks hot and do not allow the heat to pass through the cup and burn your hand. A thermos has one container inside of another container so that there is a space with air in between them. It is the air that is actually the insulator, stopping the heat from escaping. Have you ever wondered why electrical wires are covered in plastic? Electrical wires and cables are made of copper. The wires are conducting electricity and get very hot. They are covered in plastic because plastic is an insulator and keeps the heat in and allows you to be able to touch the cord. The red arrow is pointing to bare wires. The confused looking girl has covered the bare wires with tape and says she doesn't understand why that is not okay. The other girl is telling her that when she plugs the cord into an electrical outlet, she will be exposed to bare electrical wires. The plastic coating on the outside of the wires protects you from the electricity that is flowing inside the wires. See the electricity flowing through the wires? Remember, your body is made up of 70% water, and water is attracted to electricity. If you touched this cord without plastic coating on, you would receive an electrical shock. If you have a cord that is not covered by plastic, it is dangerous and you should not plug it into an electrical socket.
Always be safe and smart around electrical wires and machines. Never poke anything into electrical sockets. Also remember that if you overload your power outlets with more connections than it can handle, the electrical wires can become so hot that they will melt the plastic insulation coating and start a fire. Let's look at some investigations using our basic electrical circuit. Look at the place where the cord switch, where the word switch is. Right here. You can see on the picture that the switch is open. No electricity can pass through when the circuit is open. When the circuit is closed, it is called a closed circuit and electricity is passing through. This is a hard thing for even adults to understand. When you put a light switch into an on position, the electrical circuit is closed. When you put a light switch in the off position, the electrical circuit is open. Think about this carefully as we continue some investigations. In this picture, they have connected a metal can to their basic circuit. If you look carefully at the picture, you can see that the light bulb is shining. Therefore, the metal can is a conductor of electricity. It allows electricity to pass through. So do you think the circuit is closed or open? It is closed. Now they are investigating by hooking up a plastic spoon to the basic circuit. As you can see, the light bulb is not shining. Therefore, no electricity is passing through the wires. When an object does not let electricity pass through, it is called an insulator. Do you think the circuit is open or closed? It is an open circuit. This item is an interesting case. If you look closely, it contains both plastic and metal. Right now, he is holding the connection on the metal part of the whisk and is closing the circuit and allowing electricity to flow through and light the bulb. In this picture, the connection is on the plastic part of the whisk. The plastic, plastic has opened the circuit, not allowing electricity to flow through, and that is why the bulb is no longer lit. An iron is both an insulator and a conductor. It contains both plastic and metal. What about cords? Are they both insulators and conductors? Yes, they are. We all enjoy the comforts that electricity provides for us. Remember the dangers of electricity and be smart and safe. As you investigate on your own circuit board, you will find out for yourself what items are conductors of electricity and what items are insulators.